will proceed in Jacobian in calculus. Mind blowing integral calculus. Mind blowing integral calculus. We know that integration in calculus is nothing but calculation of multiplication. If you want multiplication in algebra, numeric multiplication is all right. Numeric multiplication is nothing but repeated addition. So numeric multiplication is nothing but repeated addition. Whereas if this multiplication comes in algebra, whatever it is, there is a way to calculate the multiplication through calculating the area. Area is nothing but when we talk about area, 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 area means there is a there area means a region which has two sides length and breadth if i say i have a triangle if i have a triangle and it is of three side three side then triangle is actually described by a rectangle half of it if i have a rectangle if i cut it half then that is a triangle i can cut in many ways and it can be octagon and whatever so basic area is rectangular area so if i want multiplication then one way is direct multiplication other way is draw a rectangle and find the area 2 into 3 2 into 3 2 plus 2 plus 2 or draw a rectangle one side is 3 one side is 2 and find the area of the rectangle that is also 2 into 3 that way if now let's go other way if i want calculation of multiplication then if i calculate the area then i get the then i get the multiplication okay then other way if i want multiplication then i go with calculation of the area okay if i calculate the area then i can get the multiplication means from area perspective whatever the whatever the rectangle whatever the region i have been provided whatever is the region i have been provided if i calculate the area of that region the area of that region indirectly it gives multiplication of two items two items multiplication i can do the multiplication through numeric way only and it is exactly similar to calculation of the area where the two entity multiplication what i am calculating that is the length and breadth of a shape 2 into 3 rather than calculating 2 plus 2 plus 2 i can have a rectangle one side is 3 one side is 2 okay in that way if i go other way and if I have any shape, not rectangular, any shape, if I am I am able to calculate the area of that shape, then that gives me illusion of multiplication of two entity. Other way, multiplication of two entity is similar to finding the area of a rectangle. Then area of a rectangle or any shape, if I calculate its area, then it's give illusion of multiplying of two items. Certainly like triangle if i have a if i have a x if i have one side that is x axis and other side is a one side is x axis i have i have one side as x axis one side as x axis and other side is a slant line okay this is a triangle one side other side and then perpendicular okay this is a triangle now what is the area of the triangle if one side is three one side is three and height is two then three and two okay one side is three one side is three and other side is one side is three and other side is two what is the area of this triangle width and height width is 3 height is 2 and there is a slant line what is the area of this triangle anyone would say let's make full rectangle 3 into 2 6 by 2 okay 
6 by 2 is the area of triangle. Okay. But, okay, area of any shape is multiplication of two items. Multiplication of two items. I multiplied height by width. Height by width and then divided by 2. Now, this is the slant line. This is the slant line and then this is the base. This is the height. Any moment I can have height. Any moment. At this moment, this is the height. Now, if I go and draw the graph, this is x axis and this is y axis. Any moment, height is y axis. What is the formula of the height at any moment x? At any moment x, if this is the origin and this is x axis, at any moment x, what is the formula of height where this is the slant line? At origin height is 0, height is increasing. Then formula of the height, consider I say formula of the height is x y 3. Formula of the height is x y 3. Wherever x is 10, then height is 10 by 3. x is 5, then height is 5 by 3. Now tell me the area. Height, height by, now if, if this is the, if this is the x axis and this is the y axis, height at any moment is, any moment is x by 3. Then what is the area of this shape? Area of this shape is nothing but, area of this shape is nothing but kind of, consider this area of this shape is A. Area of this shape is A. It gives illusion of multiplication of two sides. Area is multiplication of two sides. If it is rectangle, then actually it is multiplication of two sides. But if it is not rectangle, then it is called abstract pseudo. Pseudo multiplication of two sides. Imaginary. If it is rectangle, then physically, if it is x and y is constant, if it is y is constant and x is x at any moment, y is always constant. What is the area of this shape? Constant into x, whatever x you take, constant into x. So area of rectangle, area of any shape is multiplication of two sides. Okay. Area of any, if I get the area, then it is multiplication of two sides. Other way, if multiplication of two sides gives area, if I have area, then it is multiplication of two sides. How come you can say it like that? Yes, see the rectangle. What is your area? Area is area is area is kind of 20. Area is 20. One side is x-axis fixed. One side is x-axis. What is your x? X is x. X is x. Okay, then x is x. Then what is the height? 20 by x, 5. You are talking about rectangle, yes. Means if I have area 20 and one side is x, then other side will be 20 by x. 20 by x into x is 20. I know that multiplication of 20 by x into x gives this area. But this is valid only for rectangle. For rectangle, area is physically multiplication of two sides, physically. But if it is not rectangle, then it is logically multiplication of two sides. At the end, area is length into breadth. What about triangle? Triangle, one side is x by 3. This is what we have taken. Other side is x. What is the area of triangle? x by 3 into x. Okay. What is the area of triangle? Area of triangle is A. What is one side? One side is x. What is other side? Then a by x. Okay, but it's not true. The height is x by 3 and width is x. Then certainly area is not x by 3 into x. If height is 1 by 3 and one side is x, then certainly height is 1 by 3 into x. This corresponds to a rectangle. If there is a rectangle, I know one side, other side can be faced to dividing that side. If one side is x, x and area is a and it is a triangle, then what is other side? Area by x, no. 
someone would stop. No, not possible. You are trying to get the other side of a rectangle, not the triangle. Then this is concept. This is called conceptual multiplication. Conceptual multiplication. Then the other side is area by dx. Dx, not x. Dx, where d is nothing but conceptual conceptual x. You are right. Other side is indeed area by dx. What is other side? If I get through the algebra, that is x by 3. What is area? So, if the area of the triangle, area of the triangle is x, if height is x by 3, then it is x into x by 3 by 2. So, x into x by 3 by 2. Now, this x becomes dx. This now, this is the actual area x into x by 3 by 2. This is actual area. Actual area equal to one side is x, other side I don't know. Then this x, if I divide, if I say the area is x into other side, the other side is area by x. Now this is conceptual, so x will become dx. So other side is nothing but area by dx area by dx then what is the area area is now now if i take dx that side then area equal to whatever the height is into dx we are trying to calculate the height of the shape if i know the width why it is x then height will be x width into height is the area now area equal to width into height width is x width is x then height is area by width okay if height width is x then height is area by width it is true 100 percent true if area belongs to a rectangle then height is certainly area by x certainly but if it is not rectangle then height is area by x is not true it is conceptual now the x becomes dx now height equal to area by dx Height into dx equal to area. This is true. Now, area equal to height into dx. What about rectangle? Now, this is generic. Area, area of a shape is nothing but multiplication of height and width. Since this is now, it is now conceptual. This is abstract. This is a kind of imaginary little bit. Then it becomes height into dx, not x, dx. Now, height is x by 3. x by 3 dx is the area of a triangle. What about area of rectangle? Same thing. Height is 1 by 3 fixed. 1 by 3 dx, then this is the height of the height of the uh, rectangle. Okay. Now, to, okay, what you want the height? What you want the area? Okay, area I want from origin to 3. Area I want from 2 to 5. Area I want from x1 to x2, where x1 and x2 is the limit. That area I am looking for. If that is the case, then I have to place a limit. Now, area I know, area I know, height into dx. Actually, it is height into x. But since if it is not rectangle, it becomes a conceptual multiplication. Then height into dx from x1 to x2. That area I want only the multiplication not full area what is height height is nothing but function over x fx so height is x by 3 because height is varying if it is a triangle here height is this here height is this here height is this height is varying if it is rectangle then height is constant if it is triangle height is varying in that case height is a function of x fx fx into dx now I want area from this point to this point. What is in between? Okay, not from origin I want. One limit is x1, other limit is x2. In between I want the area. If that is the case, then this should be, this should be actually, this if this is x2, then full x2 area. Minus if it is x1, then full area. If I subtract these two, then I get the reason area. Now I can say fx dx whatever is the multiplication now now it is up to x1 
up to x up to x2 from origin and minus same thing up to x1 so now people have started thinking about limitation now they put one limitation x1 x2 this is one symbol snake kind of symbol one symbol to place the limit actual area is multiplication only that is fx dx okay i believe i can proceed now and we are in form of jacobian so we are in form of proving the jacobian so jacobian is like if i know if i know for integration now it is understood that for integration there are three parts for the integration there are three parts one part is integration sign limit part other part is in integrand that is fx and another part is differential now width height into width width became differential and height that became integrand and limit the interval what we are saying the interval became limit so this became full fledged integration now a limit limit integrand and differential interval height and width okay now in this situation we see that it becomes difficult difficult to calculate the actual integration when the integrand is complex or the reason is complex in that sense it become difficult to calculate the integrand calculate the integration in that scenario we change the coordinate system that is called method of substitution in integration it looks simple but it is not that simple so when we are try trying to calculate the multiplication or calculation of area through this way then for simple thing like what is the what is the uh, area of a triangle if tri triangle equation if triangle means if triangle equation the height is x then area is x square by 2 if height is 1 the area is 1 x means integration of x x to the power n is x to the power n plus 1 divided by n plus 1 from this only this is the simplest form integration of x to the power n is x to the power n plus 1 by n plus 1 from this simple fundamental people calculated the area of any shape if it is rectangle then it is x if height is 1 then it is x if it is triangle and height is x then it is x square by 2 if the line is x square then it is x to the power 3 by 3 this one people knew this is how if this is the curve equation that this is the area this is the multiplication now with this simple simple basement simple base people calculated area of any shape sinusoidal exponential tangential just based upon the polynomial one by one okay now in that fashion but sometime if someone is calculating the integration and integrand is very difficult or the limit is very difficult in that sense it is not possible to calculate people go by method of substitution let x equal to this let y equal to this let z equal to this then it will be simple like we give example like someone has to calculate integration of area of a ellipse area of an ellipse where the fx height fx is x square plus 2xy plus y square equal to 1 x square plus 2xy plus y square equal to 1 okay this is calculation of area of an ellipse okay now if i calculate the how i can calculate area of an ellipse if if this is xy plane then i have ellipse drawn over here i want area of that ellipse if i keep xy now where y is dependent upon x x square plus 2xy plus y is 2y square x square plus 2xy plus 2y square equal to 1 then y equal to something it will come in form of x only then it forms a circle i we form a uh, ellipse why want the area of the ellipse area of the ellipse is nothing but if i have a surface which height is 1 i have a surface and height is 1 and that surface is mapped on xy plane as ellipse then what is the volume of the surface if the surface is fxy fxy the height fxy where it is dependent upon x and y fxy is 1 if fxy 
what is the volume of any surface if area area is if i have a curve equation then area is underneath it what is the volume of a what is the volume of a surface what is the area of a curve if i know the equation of the curve then area is integration of this integration of this curve underneath x y x line what is the area of the surface then underneath x y plane with that i have to do the integration earlier it was fx dx now it is fx y dx y plane that is the volume if fx y is 1 if the height is 1 then if i calculate the volume then this is surface area into height that is that is nothing but surface area only this way also we calculate the surface area to calculation in the calculation of by calculation of volume we calculate the surface area because height is constant one then surface area into height equal to volume when height is one then volume equal to surface surface area only now if i do integration integration where reason is elliptical reason and fx y is one dx y plane it gives the surface area of the ellipse one okay if that is the case dx y and reason is elliptical reason. Elliptical reason equation is x square plus 2xy plus 2y square equal to 1. Now no one can calculate it. Very difficult. Or someone can say that x is x is if this is ellipse, then someone can draw the ellipse and he can see that on, on x axis, what is the interception of the of the curve? From that interception minus, suppose it is A and A, minus A to A, that is the limit and then Fx, whatever Y equal to comes and then Dx, that is again very difficult. Okay, then people use method of substitution. In method of substitution, consider X equal to, now I am saying, consider X equal to U, function of U and V. Consider y equal to function over u and v. u and v are again different coordinate system. We had Cartesian coordinate system where we have x and y. Let us consider another coordinate system u and v. This is x and y and I have elliptical reason. Now we have already discussed that the reason, the integral reason should be rectangular or if it is single dimension then it should be a straight line. I can integrate over a curve line also curve line also that is called line integral but it will come in vector form now. otherwise I have because every moment it should be a vector so vector is changing so it will come in a vector field kind of situation otherwise now I am integrating along x y plane so now I have x y x y plane now x y plane integration the the reason on the x y plane is elliptical where a reason on the UV plane, I believe it should be rectangular. That is the aim of the scenario. Or it should be simpler to this, at least. This elliptical, ellipse ellipt shape is very difficult. At least it should be circular, better, but best is rectangular. If I am thinking about a coordinate system where x equal to a new coordinate system u and v, now where x equal to function over u and v, y equal to function over u and v, in that sense, there should be a rectangle here. Here it is ellipse. Now, someone can think about it. Now, what about dxy? fxy dxy. dxy or dx dy. dx dy is dxy plane. That is dxy plane is nothing but the independent component. dxy plane is, can be written as dxy plane by duv plane into duv plane. As per multiplication. Now, duv can be written as du dv, dxy by duv, dxy by duv is considered as Jacobian. Extra thing that got attached because we did the coordinate change. Okay, that is the scenario. So, this scenario we have already discussed in the past video that how we calculate the Jacobian dxy plane by duv plane on dxy plane. I have a ellipse on duv plane what I have depends upon the transformation function I have taken transformation function I have taken from ellipse to whatever so 
वट एवर ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन फंक्शन आई है एक्स इक्वल टू फंक्शन ओवर यू एन बी वाई इक्वल टू फंक्शन ओवर यू एन बी दिस एलिप्स विल गेट मैप इन दैट फैशन ओनली वट एवर ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन फंक्शन वी टेक डी एक्स वाई प्लेन बट डी यू बी प्लेन मीन्स इन कंसिडर ऑन यू बी आई हैव ए रेक्टाइंगल आई यूज सच ए इंटेलिजेंट ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन फंक्शन दैट माई एलिप्स गॉट ट्रांसफॉर्म इन टू ए रेक्टाइंगल लाइक इफ आई हैव ए सर्कुलर रीजन एंड इफ आई टेक x equal to x equal to u cos v and y equal to u sin v then the circle will get converted into rectangle in u v plane in u v plane similarly whatever the, if i have an ellipse and i use some very intelligent transformation function and it get transformed into a rectangle consider it is a rectangle now if i make now this rectangle is attached to an ellipse on x y plane If I make any change over this rectangle, then ellipse would in x y plane would change. D x y plane by D u b plane. If I make unit change in the area, that is rectangular area on the u b plane, how many unit change in the area I see in x y plane? D x y plane by D u b plane. Okay. Now in last video we saw. that this is nothing but in xy plane if i have any position vector p now xy plane has an ellipse on this ellipse if i take any point p then coordinate of point p is x comma y that is xi plus yj is the position vector then dxy plane by duv is nothing but dp by du cross dp by dv then this is called jacobian Or D, this is the surface area in X Y plane by D U B plane. We will solve this. I am not running away. We will solve this. Now, this is what we saw in the past video. D X Y plane by D surface. D X Y plane by D U B plane is, is nothing but if I take position vector P in X Y plane, where P equal to X I plus Y J. P vector is X I plus Y J. D P by D U cross D P by D V. dp by du cross dp by dv is nothing but where p is xi plus yj so dxi plus yj by du cross dxy plus yj is by dv this is dxy plane by duv plane okay this is the jacobian now the assignment is the what we did in the past video the way we calculated this this jacobian can we now use it in kind of uh, can we use it in kind of uh, uh, in x y z coordinate system at all what we are trying to say is if i have x y plane if i have x y plane and i have a surface on top of it this height of the surface height of the surface over x y plane is z at any moment if i take any point x comma y on the x y plane and up i apply a function over x comma y it results in a z value if i take set of xy plane it will give set of z value if i connect all those it becomes a surface now now question arises is what is this this what is this surface how i can calculate this surface how i can calculate the surface area okay if this is xy plane then how i can calculate the surface area i'm not talking about calculating the volume if this is fxy z equal to fxy fxy dxy plane is the volume what about how i can calculate the surface surface now consider any point of the surface is x comma y comma z any point i can say x comma y comma z where x comma y belongs to xy plane and z is the height that is point p now position vector is xi plus yj plus zk xi plus yj plus zk leave it now i have any point on the surface as p i am trying to calculate area at p i mean area at p area at p actually i am trying to calculate full the surface area now if i have any point here p that is x comma y comma z if this is the point p that is x comma y, y comma z on the surface if this is the point p and this is x y plane let's move little bit in x direction that is delta x what is another point if i move delta x the new point is x plus delta x comma y and then function over x plus delta x comma y that is p p1 
point is p on the surface if i move little bit may not be on the surface other point may not be other point i believe okay i other point will be the surface but it will be other a uh, little bit kind of uh, in x direction it will be little bit right why i said other point because we are calculating fx y at the end so point p and point p1 on the surface if there is a point p whose coordinate is x comma y comma z and other point other point p2 p sorry p and p1 p and p1 now p1 x i have little bit moved delta x now p1 is x plus delta x comma y comma f function over f that is z f x plus delta x comma y what is a vector if i connect p and p1 it will make a vector that vector is x plus delta x minus x minus x comma y minus y comma f x plus delta x comma y minus f x comma y then y will go away now x will go away delta x x plus delta x minus x delta x now the vector equation is delta x i plus f x f x plus delta x comma y minus f f f x y k this is the one vector now let's consider we move in the in x y plane we move little bit in y direction y plus delta y now if i had point p and p1 this vector is delta x i plus f x plus delta x comma y minus f x comma y k now if i move in y direction then consider if this is point p this is point p1 then other one is p2 what is p2 p2 is x comma y plus delta y comma f x comma y plus delta y p2 is x plus x comma y p2 point is x comma y plus delta y comma f x comma y plus delta y now if p2 p2 if i make a vector consider p2 p1 is vector a this is vector b what is vector b vector b is now subtraction vector b is nothing but nothing but x minus x x minus x gone y plus delta y minus y that is delta y delta y j plus f x comma y plus delta y minus f x y k a vector a vector is delta x i plus f x plus delta x comma y minus f x y k b vector is delta y j plus f x y comma delta y minus f x y k okay a vector b vector at any now if this is x y plane and this is a surface any point p a vector is i got b vector i got if i make cross product of these two and get the value magnitude i get the surface area at this point i can calculate surface area at this point okay surface area at this point is a cross b a vector cross b vector magnitude if i calculate i get the surface area at this point at this point not the full surface area no the question arises is what is the full surface area question is what is the full surface area so full surface area if i can so if i take delta x and delta y very small reason i calculated the area if i add all those the small reason then it becomes the surface area of the full full surface this is the new terminology called approximation as per algebra as per algebra that is primitive calculus at any point p i got the surface area at any point p i got the surface area what is the full surface area now let go let's go back to the initial phase now uh, consider consider that that a person had is walking a person is walking and at any moment from the at any moment i am walking i started from here only from my chair i started walking and after after one hour someone calculated and i am a distance of 5 km from this point after two hour after two hour okay i am at distance 10 km after three hour i am at distance 15 km how many distance i walk 15 km 15 kilometer 
okay very nice now this is this is the beginning point and this is what i am working okay now if i say per unit time this much i work next unit time this much i work next unit time this much unit time can be one minute one second next unit time how much i work now i have to add every unit time and then calculate the distance that much i work in this much time that much i work similarly if i need to calculate the surface area each surface area i have to add okay but if i go to primitive calculus then if I want to get the net addition, net addition, then I have, I can go by area fundamental. If there is one x axis, there is one y axis. If y axis is dy by dx, I am calculating the distance. If y axis is velocity, then net integration gives the distance. If y axis is y and this is x, then net integration gives y into x. If y is dy by dx, if I multiply by x, I get the y. If I want surface area, then d surface area by dxy plane into dxy plane will give the full surface area. Whatever I am getting through vector a cross b and magnitude is momentary surface area at that point only, not the full surface area. If I would want full surface area, then I have to come with a graph where the surface area is velocity surface area. If I have velocity surface area and if I do integration, I get the surface area. Not calculating all the sum, not required. That is the new calculus. Infinitesimal small I have taken and then we go by here and there. So the primitive calculus say that if you want, if you want to calculate the area, then, then the curve equation integration with the baseline, it gives the area. If curve equation is dy by dx, then you get y. If curve equation is y, then you get y into x. So if you want y, not y into x, if you want y, if you want surface area, if you want y, then you have to get the curve in term of dy by dx, then integration will give the y. If I want surface area, full surface area, then I have to get surface area into term of so d surface area by dxy plane so that if I integrate with the dxy plane, it gives the net surface area. Integration limit will be the reason under which I want the surface area. So if the surface region is circular, then the circuit would go up and it will map a region on the xy in the surface. If region is a rectangle, then rectangle would go up and it will map to another region on the surface area. That surface area we will get d, d surface area by dxy into dxy with the limit region. Whatever limit region we are making, above it we get the surface area. Okay, this is the fundamental. Now I have d surf, now I have surface area is a cross b, a cross b by dxy plane into dxy plane because we are trying to calculate full surface area. By dxy plane is nothing but delta x delta y, delta x into delta y. Or I can say whatever a cross b I have calculated by delta x delta x delta y into delta x delta y. This is also someone can say. By delta, if delta x tends to 0 and delta y tends to 0, y tends to 0, it becomes dx. This is the new technology. Old technology is d surface, d surface plane, sur d surface plane by dxy plane because I want velocity vector so that if I integrate with dxy plane, dxy plane, not dx d1, dxy plane, I get the net surface area as per the basic primitive calculus in that way. But new technology is divide by delta x delta y multiply by delta x delta y. If delta x and delta y tends to 0, then it becomes dx dy or dxy plane that becomes dx dy, whatever it is d surface area by dxy plane, okay, a cross b by delta x, delta, delta x, delta y, it becomes vector a by delta x cross vector b by delta y. Now, vector a, vector a is, vector a is delta, delta x i plus f x plus delta x comma y minus f x y k by delta x. 
cross cross v vector that is delta y j plus f x comma y plus delta y minus f x y by delta y k delta y okay whatever it is okay if that is the scenario then delta x i by delta x becomes i plus f x f x plus delta x comma y minus f x y by delta x becomes d p by d x because as per the first, first principle first principle of differentiation f x plus delta x okay i am sorry one is one is i vector one is i vector okay one is i vector i vector plus f x plus delta x f x plus delta x minus y minus minus f x y by delta x i this become d f d f x y by d x d f x y by d x and here first one becomes becomes d x by d x that's why it is one delta x i by delta x is one that is d x by d x d x by d x i plus d f x y by d d x k d z by d x d x by d x i d z by d x k j is missing i can say dy by dx i since y is independent of x it becomes zero dx dx i dx i by dx plus dy by dy dy by dx j plus dz by dx k the top is the top i am sorry uh, yeah this is what it is uh, so the top is x i y j z k top become p vector position vector p the point P I started with P, P1, P2, dp by dx, d position vector by dx. Similarly, cross d position vector by dy. d position vector by dx cross d position vector by dy. We are going from back side now. Now this gives d surface area by dxy plane. Now d surface area by dxy plane multi multiply or integration with dxy plane or dx dy. This if I calculate the net its magnitude it gives the and integrate over the region it gives the net surface area net surface area is the surface area by dxy plane integration by dxy plane dx the surface area by dxy plane is nothing but dp by dx cross dp by dy because actually it is i actually it is delta x i plus fx comma delta x f x plus delta x comma y minus f x y k by delta x this is what we saw i plus f x plus delta x minus f x y by delta x k i plus d z by d x f d f x y by d x k d z by d x k i plus d z by d x k i is nothing but d x by d x in between j is d y by d x zero and dz by dxk nothing but top portion is xi d of xi plus yj plus zk by dx that is dp by dx cross dp by dy so surface area if someone need to calculate he just need to do this is our proof this is not available anywhere else please support us plus 91 is the india country code 9483160610 Plus 91 is the India country code 9483160610. That is the telephone number. Anyway, now the if someone wants to calculate the surface area, then dp by dx cross dp by dy magnitude that is can be considered a Jacobian in some scenario. Dx, dy, and integration over the reason. Actually, I thought I would conclude today, but looks like one more session it would be. So this is the back proof of d surface area by dxy plane. Other proof d xy plane by d uv plane that we have already seen. So this completes the proof that the d, sur d surface area in one coordinate by d surface area in another coordinate is nothing but dp by another coordinate cross dp by another coordinate x to u then dp by du cross dp by dv fxy to x is dp by dx cross dp by dy okay 
So please do support us and probably one more session it will take.